Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, split his mall. The 50 upside down. In the club, I'm strapped down. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. <sighs> real name Brandon. I don't know if real name Brandon is having some of the worst luck in recent memory, or maybe it could just be divine intervention. You know what I'm saying? He could potentially be being intercepted by a stronger force to get it. Listen. If you don't know, he was supposed to be battling New Jersey Twerk on Ultimate Madness 5. Uh, word came out yesterday that unfortunately New Jersey Twerk is going to be gone for a little while. I don't know all of the specifics. I don't know everything that's involved with it, but he's going to jail. I just leave it there, and when more comes out, I guess it'll be spoke on. But his replacement for Ultimate Madness 5 is Rum Nitty. Real name Brent. Now, 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 you just went from like the frying pan to the fryer. Well, actually, he battled Twerk before in the one round. The Twerk wasn't prepared, uh, and Real Name got that. In a rematch, there were people. Like the funny thing is, I will tell you about New Jersey Twerk. He has some of the craziest staying power because even though Real Name beat him in the one round that they had before, when the polls started coming out again, most people were picking New Jersey Twerk. In this tournament, I did not have him winning it. I did not have him advancing or even making it far because he has a preparation issue. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't really like money. Don't money's not a motivating factor, especially when you are used to getting big bags, getting big battles, and always getting booked. It's not an issue. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't do it this time, I get him on the next one. I get him on the next one. So I didn't really look at it as a motivating factor for twerking. I felt like real name was probably going to win anyway, but now he's got bigger issues as to where. He can't be there. And I will say this, as someone who's had an up and down relationship as far as wits work, um, I don't see something that he can't get past. Hopefully he learns from the situation, whatever it is. I don't know the charge. I don't know everything about it. And it's really not nothing I'm trying to find out. But what I will say is I hope that he learns and grows from the situation and comes back when he does as a better, you know what I'm saying, individual and a better battle rapper because you have an opportunity and a chance to do something with your talent to take you to the next level. You got kids, you got family, you got all that shit. But now, Rum Nitty. Whew. Rum Nitty just battled Danny Myers. From what I'm hearing, the whispers and blispers, Danny Myers, Rum Nitty is allegedly a classic. A lot of rebuttals went back and forth. The lima bean and the time machine became the vegetable in the future, and that battle is allegedly going to be, allegedly going to be everything that we wanted it to be. But now you have Rum Nitty battling again, and the one thing I can say about Rum Nitty is this: what he does, the punches. Now and now rebuttals, Rum Nitty's rebuttal is fucking crazy. But with the punches and everything that he does. He has a style that is catered for a tournament style because if these these rounds usually only be like two minutes, two thirty, so he could pack together enough punches to get by. So you see, they got Geechee on the left side of the bracket and Rum Nitty on the right side. I don't know what is going to stop either or from getting to the, the to see each other. These niggas might battle again for another hundred fifty thousand dollars. They literally is a high probability that Rum Nitty and Geechee Gotti are going to battle again. $100,000 because who's going to beat Rum Nitty in two minute 230 rounds with now see the only thing that could potentially ruin it is having a crowd there because some of the crowds are not good I'm just gonna be honest with you the crowd that was there for Sue Surf versus Cortez they really was one side I was able to hear through it and that's the funny thing like I seen people saying oh uh, it was gas it was gas I was the one or there probably was more, I mean, I don't really watch recaps besides ones that I do, but I said that I felt like Surf got the first, Tez got the second because Surf's round was just, all right, it wasn't crazy like that to me, and then I felt like Surf got the third. But some people still want to break it down even further. I'm like, bro, I just said in my own verbatim 
that I did not feel like his second round was like that, and I felt like he got the first. But anyway, um, the crowds could potentially ruin it. When you got that type of money on the line, you could literally have somebody there getting more reaction than the other person, and a judge, their, their, their decision making could be jaded by, are you judging a battle off crowd reaction, or are we judging a battle off of who had the better lyrics, the better setups, the better punches, the better cadence, because you got MCs like a Head Ice, right? And then you got other MCs that are super lyrical, like a Real Sick, or like a JC. You know what I'm saying? When you mix those guys together, what are you looking for? What intangibles are you looking for that's going to disseminate how you go about picking who you pick? But, uh, yeah, real name. I, fuck. I mean, I ain't going to say you. I, don't, I, I, won't, I will not give you the worst odds to win because you got to. But now you had to switch your opponent. And I know you was probably writing for the first opponent, and now you got to switch your opponent, and you only got seven days. This is supposed to be happening in seven days. Oh, man. And now Rum Nitty's already in rapping mode because he just battled Danny Myers. So he's probably cooking up some more shit for you while you have to try to prepare three rounds for probably the most dangerous, one of the most dangerous MCs. There's a couple of dangerous, dangerous MCs, but Rum Nitty is definitely one of the most dangerous MCs. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> you feel pain, the steel bang, headshot. It'd be hard to identify him by his real name. Like when this nigga, when he starts doing that type of shit, bro, like, hey, hey, the steel bang. I pull up and let it peel through. You know, like he does that, like the four bar setup is the four bar setup with the haymaker at the end, but he's putting punches all in between. That's one of the most craziest, not the craziest style to develop, but when you're punching at the rate, Romney is the best puncher alive right now, period. We're not even doing this. I know Fonz is very good. He's in the tournament. He's a high level puncher. I would love to see Fonz and Nitty. That, they should have put them niggas in the bracket to where they could have seen each other. Like, we always want the Fonz and Nitty matchup anyway. I think they might be on two sides of the bracket. Hold on. Let's see. The niggas might be on two sides of the bracket. If they are, that sucks because one would have to get all the way to the end to see each other. Hold on. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So if Rum Nitty beats real name, he would battle Shotgun Shug or Swamp. Fonz would have to get past Pristavia and Real Sick or Stumbles to see Fonz versus Rum Nitty. Now that, they would see each other and the winner would go to the last round. Now that is what we need. If we're going to have these two, yo, Fonz versus Rum Nitty could potentially be one of the best punch matchups since Rum Nitty versus Av. Like these niggas punch at a very, very high level. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Back to real name. Uh, real name Brandon, you got Rum Nitty first. After that, it would be a Shotgun Shug or a Swamp. Uh, I have Rum Nitty winning. I have Rum Nitty winning 3-0. Because you battle Shotgun Shug, and Shotgun Shug, who's on this joint versus Swamp, damn near beat you 3-0. Now, could you surprise and upset and shock the world? Of course you could. It could happen, but... Rum Nitty, when you're doing a tournament style bracket and you got to put your bets on, I got to put my bet on the Rum Nitty's the sure money. Now, the chance that someone gets knocked out early is always high. You know, you got a Geechee Gotti versus a True Foe, then a Nun Nun versus a Sheet happens. Could a Geechee Gotti win a battle and then get surprised by somebody in the second round? Is it likely? No. Because he's won tournament before. He went straight through the last tournament. And this tournament, these... No knock on nobody. These names are easier than the ones he went through in the last tournament. Just call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. A lot of these names on here are not really, like, let's see, I'm, I'm going to just say have never been on Summer Madness. Uh, True Four ain't been on Summer Madness. None of them ain't been on Summer Madness. She Happens ain't been on Summer Madness. Had Ice, I don't know. Shuni, no. Real Name, no. Swamp, no. Suge has. Uh, Prestavia, no. Fonz, no. Stumbles, no. Real sick. Summer Man, no. Only person who was on Summer Madness was Luke Castro. So yeah, out of this card, these most of these guys have never been on Summer Madness. A lot of them have not been on high level cards. And when you start putting that kind of money into this tournament, 
the experience does mean something. Experience means a lot. Uh, I respect Trufo for putting his belt on the line versus a Gichi Gotti. That could potentially be crazy. But um, real name, uh, swing first. You know, you might have to just swing on Rumley. If you steal, boom, like right out the gate, because he's going to be punching anyway. So if you just steal him, like, uh, better listen to your corner and watch for the hook. You know what I'm saying? You might just want to steal that nigga or grab. No, that might not work. I ain't going to hold you. Because, uh, from then he done been through all the smoke and you're gonna take so much punches the crowd scream and get off the ropes like I could just hear them shits coming back to back to back now now the one thing that could that could potentially help real name um, is the fact that he hasn't battled in a little minute you know I think his last jump shotgun should and so he's got time to retool and work on some things from Nitty just battled 24 hours ago so the element of surprise could be a lot but when you're dealing with a high-level puncher like Rum Nitty and he knows what it feels like to get that kind of money, him and Geechee split 150,000. So to be able to get that kind of money again, <sighs> that's life changing money. I don't care what nobody say. You get 75,000 in one wop, 50,000 in one wop, 100,000 in one wop. That's a lot of money to be coming across to just win how many? One, two, three, four, to win four battles to get 100,000. Somebody gonna try to, they gonna try to kill. Some of these niggas are going to be trying to kill people to get that kind of bread. Uh, Geechee Gotti, JC, Rum Nitty, Fonz, and Real Sick are probably some of the favorites. Uh, Prestavia is really nice too. I don't. Her and Fonz in front of a crowd. See that crowd shit? I don't know, man. That fucking. I just seen a crowd yesterday with the, with the surf shit. And that crowd shit, I don't fucking know. And plus, like, is it all one day? Is you gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? And they may do all eight battles in one day. Who knows? But uh, yeah. Other than that, man, salute to the subscribers that notification gang. Um, New Jersey Twerk has been replaced by Rum Nitty. Unfortunately, like I said, New Jersey Twerk's got to go sit down for a little while. And I hope that he learns, and I hope that he comes back a better person. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though. I've been critical about him. It's never been nothing but battle rap. Like, I don't talk about nobody's kids, mom, wife, neighbor, dog, none of that shit. It's only about battle rap. And I hope he comes back better, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really do. He's got a lot of people relying on him, and he supports a lot of people at the same time. But you gotta be here. The best ability is availability. Other than that, salute to the gang. I'm gone.